Hey everybody, Aerial Triangle here, and I'm doing some separations using Ink Split. You're gonna open up your file, let it analyze, and when you get to this point here, you're gonna wanna choose your shirt color, as well as any base settings, your base softness, the lower, the more half tones you will get on your base softness. Now, moving the auto extract tolerance slider usually auto extracts your colors, but I like to be more hands-on with my color selection. So I like to manually pick my colors for maximum control. Now you can even use the add ink button if you want to add an additional ink the max colors setting doesn't limit you. You can add or subtract colors as many as you'd like. So you use the color picker to pick your colors and use the RGB picker to fine tune those uh, RGB settings. Then we have our ink blending setting to the left zero to the right 100. Usually for complex images, you wanna have it at the 100. Now we let ink split do its thing. Um, of course, larger images take a little longer than the smaller file sizes. Okay, here we go. We got our channels and we have our final loadout print preview loading the composite. Okay, so I like my colors. It looks like I'm missing a little bit here in my sun. Uh, maybe I can get a darker orange. So I'm gonna color pick this red orange here, which will still mix with my yellow to create my orange, my, my middle tone oranges. And I'll, I'll get darker, a little darker blue. Okay, and then we just re-separate, let it process here, give it our second go. Let the composite compositize here in the print preview. Once it loads, looks like I'm pretty happy with this result. I'm gonna download it. This download here, you can download as many times as you want. Um, you can change the colors and do it again and download as many times as you want. It still counts as that initial credit. So it's real cool. So if you're not happy with it, you can come back, tweak it again, and download it again. Okay, the white base looks a little blown out here. Photoshop tends to do that. So what you want to do is move, open up your levels with Control L, and you wanna move your chevrons to where it looks nice. Usually it's your white to the, to the left and the gray to the left. Then you look at your other color channels, see if any look light or dull. And again, we want to use our levels to darken these. So for example, here, we're gonna move our black chevron to the right, to the edge of the information. And you can see how it got darker. And that was really the only color I needed to adjust. And that's it. When you're done, you want to save as a DCS 2.0 that you still need a rip and you want to make sure you erase your shirt color plate so that doesn't come out as well. Thank you.